The waters of British Columbia are often called the Emerald Sea and house an amazing diversity of life. Schools of rockfish swim in kelp or hover over anemone forests. It is also home to small colorful sculpins, the odd looking decorated war bonnet, and the grunt sculpin hopping over the bottom on its fins. One of the most ferocious fish is the lingcod. This one got hold of an adult Chinook salmon. However, its hold on the belly of the salmon doesn't allow the lingcod to eat it, and so, in utter frustration, it spits out a potentially good meal. One of the most emblematic animals in BC waters is the wolf eel. It is not a true eel, but part of the wolffish family. The juvenile ones have beautiful bronze and copper collars, and I found this one out in the open. Not a safe place to be. Suddenly, a copper rockfish shot forward and took off with my model. I normally do not interfere in these situations, but I was so angry with the rockfish for trying to eat my model, so I chased it around until it released the wolf eel. The wolf eel was no worse for wear, but looked a little confused from the whole experience, and I had my model back. Spotted ratfish, related to ancient sharks, can often be seen in shallow depth in summer. This is the same time of year that the elusive six gull shark ascends from its normal deep water habitat. Both species have been around for millions of years, and seeing one is a treat for any diver. In autumn, large schools of northern anchovy mingle with the moon jelly still present. Pacific sardines, one of their cousins, swim just below the surface in the mixing layer of salt and fresh water. Not a safe place to be when hunters are around. Californian and stellar sea lions feed on the oily sardines. They herd them into large bowls and then swim through the dense concentration of fish. The panicking sardines try to get away and avoid being eaten, but their activity makes noise and attracts another large mammal. This humpback whale uses the last of the daylight to get a share of the abundance of food. This whale simply opens its mouth and lunges to the surface, thus scooping many fish. Nudibranchs, or sea snails, are the most colorful ambassadors of the incredible diverse invertebrate life in British Columbia. They come in many shapes and sizes, and range from half an inch to more than a foot in length. This giant nudibranch has detected its favorite prey, a tube-dwelling anemone. With its rhinophores, a kind of chemical detectors, it locates the anemone, rears up like a dragon, and then dives with surprising speed towards the anemone. Thus, it gets a nibble of the tentacles. Another strange invertebrate is the swimming anemone. It is aptly named, because when it is threatened by its mortal enemy, the leather starfish, it can sting, and if that doesn't help, lift itself from the seafloor and swim to a safer spot. British Columbia is also home to the largest octopus known to man, the giant Pacific octopus. This octopus is a master of camouflage and grows to an amazing 40 pounds in as little as 3 to 5 years. Although they are very strong and theoretically can hold a few tons with their arms, they are mostly timid and at times inquisitive. This one was fascinated by the camera and decided to give it its full attention. Fortunately, this encounter ended as gentle as it started. This fried egg jellyfish and this fiercely stinging sea nettle can be seen in summer and autumn. They share the water with plankton, on which they feed, with moon jellies, umbrella jellies and a host of other life that feeds on the plankton. The slow pulsating of their bell is mesmerizing and with the sunlight dappling in the shallow waters, divers become enchanted by the thousands of jellyfish. The waters of British Columbia can rival with any ocean in the world for life, diversity and color. And for divers, it is a universe to discover all year round. 